The Celtic ratings are in for EAFC 24, or are they? Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland 90. It looks like the Celtic EAFC 24 ratings have been released. Now, there's been no official confirmation. However, we do have screenshots here that have been reported by Football Scotland. So this could be someone getting an early copy of the game. And an early copy, I don't know, before it's released, the demo version. And they are seeing the ratings here. They took a screenshot, so you get to see the starting 11 plus the 7 substitutes. Now, I can't really tell by the kit whether it's the new kit or not. Plus, the menu looks very similar to FIFA 23. So, for all we know, I mean, this could be a fake screenshot. But I did do a video last week on the Rangers ratings. And from what I know, that appears to be correct. Then it's, I believe it's the same person that is screenshot at the Celtic ratings. So let's just say for argument's sake, we're going to agree that this is the ratings. And looking at them, I'm shocked. I think they've done Celtic really dirty here. Uh, we will go through the start 11 first and then we'll, we'll move on to the, the bench. But if this is the ratings, then... I think they've actually made Rangers a stronger team than Celtic because I was looking at the Rangers ratings and it just looked like they had more players in the mid-70s whereas Celtic, majority of their players are low 70s with only a few being mid, uh, like 75 or higher. So you've got Joe Hart, 76, way too high in my opinion for Joe Hart. Um, he's not been impressive since he's been at Celtic. I don't care if he's won two league titles and five trophies out of six, anybody could have won those trophies, so 76 for me is too high, Taylor's a 72, Starfield's moved on now, he's a 73, Carter Fickers 75, I think it's a little bit harsh, I think we could have easily seen Carter Fickers get a 76, 77, 78, I would have had no problem with any of that, Alistair Johnston, I know he's young, but I still think he could have got higher than a 71, I think he's looked really good at right back, and yeah, no, for me, I think he is a couple of Ratings lower than he should be. Cal McGregor, 77, no complaints. With Rio Hitati to be 73, that shocks me. I think Hitati should be a 76, 77. I think he should be similar to Cal McGregor. You've got O'Reilly, 72. And then moving into the attacking three, you've got Maida, 72. Abada, 73. And then Kyogo, 75. First of all, I do find it a little bit surprising that they've got Maida. Um, lower rated than Abada, especially considering that Abada has got like six years on Maida. He's like six years younger, something like that. So you'd expect Maida to be higher rated. But the Kyogo rating, I think, is borderline abysmal. 75 rated for Furuhashi. That's embarrassing. Come on, this guy should be pushing 80. He should be a 78, 79, if not an 88 rated player. So I think they've done Celtic a little bit harsh here on the starting 11 but then when you look at the subs it's like holy shit so you've got O 67 Tilo 65 Awata 72 which seems okay it seems a little bit high to be honest the new sign in home this guy cost a couple of million and he's only rated 62 what the hell is that all about Ralston Anthony Ralston Tony Ralston's got the same fucking rating as Alistair Johnston I mean who decided that shit honestly uh, Kobayashi 67 and then Seagrass 69. So that looks like it is the leaked Celtic ratings. I think those ratings are terrible though. I don't agree with those ratings whatsoever. And I think a lot of these players should be a couple of ratings higher than what they actually got. Especially Carter Fickers and Furuhashi. I think for them to both only get 75 is very poor. They should at least be 77, 78. And I wouldn't complain if they were 79 or 80. And then you look at some of the new signings like Tilo, uh, Holm. They've, they've, done, they've done Celtic pretty dirty here. Definitely, in my opinion. We'll find out soon enough though. It's only going to be a couple more weeks till EAFC 24 comes out. But it does look like this is official, so we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, very poor ratings. Of course, they can change it. They they do the updates and stuff like that. And the ratings of players are changing constantly. So, I mean, it's not a massive deal. But as a base rating, I think they've got a lot of these wrong. Anyway, guys, that's my opinion. Let me know your opinion down below. I'll catch you in the next one. And, of course, until then, peace.